Creek on the field last year without any input from coaches? Um, well, I'd say uh, Alec Io Manor's catch against Colorado off of another player's helmet, off the back of his helmet. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yeah, so that was probably, uh, I, we, don't, we don't coach that. We don't work on catching the ball off somebody's helmet. Uh, but uh, so I'll say that's probably my favorite play that, that he did on his own. Awesome. Troy, Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. You, you've had a full year to come to grips with this and get prepared for it, but how surreal is it that a team from the Pacific Coast is now in the Atlantic Coast Conference? Yeah, you know, there was a there was a 10-day period of time where we weren't sure if we were going to be in a conference. So um, finding Safe Harbor at uh, an incredible conference like the ACC, we feel grateful, you know. Uh, love the conference. Uh, obviously, there's some travel that's involved, but, you know, our if you look at our, our roster, a lot of our players come from this coast. Georgia so, over here. That's next right, year. that's right, yeah. So, um, you know, we signed our last class – which is really our first class that we were able to recruit for an entire year. Only five were from California. So that gives you an indication that we got to go all over the country. And a lot of it is out here on the, on the Atlantic Coast. So um, we think it's good for our exposure. It's good in recruiting in terms of uh, parents and family knowing that we're going to be, you know, this year we'll be three times playing out here on the coast. Uh, and so, you know, obviously there's, there's challenges uh, that go with that, but it's just, we're just grateful to be here. Did it kind of hit home today? Yeah, that a little bit. Real. Sure. Yeah, I think I think uh, yeah, it definitely uh, is getting closer. Um, you know, your the familiarity with the teams is not as much as you would have on the West Coast, um, and so getting familiar with the coaches and then the schemes and and having played in any of the three places that we're going to this year personally, you know, Syracuse, Clemson, North Carolina State, never played there, or coached there, so that's exciting to go to new places. Challenging but exciting. Um, so that's when it really hit home when we're, we're playing some of those games. <laughs> one one last question about this. You know, the NCAA likes to refer to these guys as student athletes, but traveling coast to coast, what, three, four times in a season is going to make it a little bit more strenuous, especially at an academic institution yeah. as you know, impressive as Stanford. How do you manage that? How do you make sure that these guys are, you know, continue yeah. to don't get behind on their studies because of the extra travel? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, our, uh, our graduation rate for football players is 97%, which is the highest in the country. So um, our guys take it very seriously. Um, our professors do a great job of working with our student athletes in all sports when they're going to be off campus, being able to to take tests and have them proctored and all those things. Um, and so it's it, nothing will really change in, in terms of what we do. Um, we'll have to be very disciplined with our students. They'll have to study on the playing flight a little bit. Um, and I think the most important thing is just having routines that allow them to be successful, not wasting their time, which I think we do a great job as a staff. Um, and our guys are, are so sharp and they're so dedicated to being great in all aspects of their life that they'll be fine. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Coach, one of those matchups you mentioned that are going to be brand new for you is to travel to Clemson in like September. Yeah. What's your impression of playing in a spot like Death Valley and sort of your impression of the history of the team that they have? Yeah, it's... Uh, it's one of those places, it's, it's an epic place that you, you see on television a lot, um, and uh, we're excited to go. We also know that it's challenging, it'll be a hostile environment, um, but uh, I think as a, as a kid, uh, that's what you, the places that you dream about playing, so we're really excited about it, uh, but realize that we have, uh, it'll, it'll be a huge challenge as well. Coach, uh, eight of your games this year are based in California, which is Stanford is from. How much does that help your team from having to travel yeah. there only in four games where you be able to travel outside of Cali and that includes away games. Yeah, yeah, eight in all in the Bay Area right there so that we don't have to get on a plane. So that's great. Yeah. Um, I think that helps. I mean, you know, as a, as student athletes and as college football players, you have to adapt though to whatever right. the, the surroundings are teams are gonna have to come out and play us, right? So those are the conditions, those are what we're set up to do. Um, we'll adjust a couple of things. Uh, but uh, we're just, you know, if you're going to play Power 4 football, you're probably going to have to travel a little bit the way it's happening. And uh, we're just excited that we're, we have that opportunity. Coach, 